Everybody needs some company. Where you there? Make sure you come for me. Pay your way, bring two man numb for me. Mo want fulfill my fantasy. Me have come parry patron. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing another video for you guys today. I will be doing my eyebrows tutorial. Okay. A lot of people ask me about my eyebrows. And every time I go out, I'll be like, okay, so I'm going to need my eyebrows done. And once my eyebrows go off, that's it. Like, the part is over. Like, how many ladies, y'all feel that way? So, today, I'm going to be doing my eyebrows tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Y'all have been commenting on my other videos, which I very appreciate. And I try to, like, answer everybody. Um, it's all positive views, which... It's great. Um, I'm still on that. Let's get up to, you know, a thousand, at least a thousand subscribers. I am new to everything. Um, but let's just, I'm going to keep on doing more and more videos for y'all. Um, let's just get back and let's get to the video. Okay, with eyebrows is still, people are still kind of struggling. Even though we have millions and millions of videos of people doing eyebrow tutorials. But everybody do eyebrows differently. And so now I'm going to like show y'all like my method of doing eyebrows. Uh, like the fleek eyebrows if you miss me. I don't know what's the new word for it. But yes, a perfect brow. So it's basically three things that you need. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dark Brown Brown Definer. Um, it has a spoolie over one side and they actually have the actual pin on the other side. Oh, I pushed it down. Oh, see, where's my thing? Okay, it's going up. So I use that. Works heavenly for my eyebrows um i'm a self-taught makeup artist um so i just do what like come natural um i remember my cousin telling me oh just outline your your eyebrows and that's it and i just started practicing practicing and i got perfect for it also what i use is la pro girl to um make that clean concealer with the eyebrows what i'll be showing y'all and it's a must a must when it comes to the type of brush that you need for your eyebrows you always need this type of flat brush um is i got this from the hair store and it works for my eyebrows and i like it and also what i also you start using what a lot of people haven't been using yet is the um clear eyebrow gel to make your eyebrows look stick i don't know because it's such a I showed this on my haul, which I'm very happy that y'all looked at my haul. And I got more hauls for y'all. But this is Anastasia um, Clear Gel. And I did the clear one. Usually people do color, but I don't like my eyebrows to be looking that bold. Okay? So, let's start. So, I'm going to start with my eyebrows. I'm going to get a little closer. So, what I do is... I actually... Instead of doing that, I will actually use the spoolie in to lift up my eyebrows. So let me get my hair. So if you could see, I'm lifting it up. And I do that for both. So it would be better highlighting. And sometimes I look at it and I do use like a razor to get some stuff. But I could actually, it's not too bad. But if you don't have time to go to you know your nail shop to get wax you can also use like a little razor you get from the the hair store and just cut this and i haven't had my eyebrows waxed in a while but i could i could do my eyebrows so you won't even think that i, I had it waxed so i go and this is how i start i start at the end of the the beginning of it and i just outline so I go to the top first and you could definitely see you gotta go a little bit hard and then I go to the bottom I 
I need a microphone for this. Okay, so after I like put put my line on both sides, that's when I start kind of from the end and start like filling it in a little bit. And I do like an upward motion. You know, even though they have a lot of makeup tutorials that people have been doing for years, it's not too simple because a lot of people do a lot of um, instructions. Like, I'm one of the people that used to look on tutorials on YouTube and I'm like, oh, this is like unnecessary. <laughs> so, I'm, mine's is definitely like simple for people that don't really use makeup that much and not a makeup person. It's just, you know, every day. So, after I like fill it in, I usually go to... The other side but I'm just gonna do one side today for y'all um and that's when I do both of my eyebrows and do that at first so I'm about to do my other eyebrow I think I'm again yeah. I'm gonna show y'all this one eyebrow so after I like fill it in um I go and I'll use the LA Pro Girl and I'll get my flats brush. And I'm, I'm looking at the cam I'm looking at the camera on my mirror too, on my vanity. And I'll use just a tiny bit, cause I know if. And also, what I used, what I tell people, what I actually learned about. You know how people use the light concealer to, you know, line up their eyebrows to so make it look perfect. I don't do that because you have to put so much like foundation and it's still you could still see like the outline of somebody doing the the eyebrows and you could tell so what I recommend is that you use the same color as your your face like you you know the same like not foundation but the same color that's similar to your skin and so once you highlight it it still takes the same effect It'll still clean up your eyebrows. It just gets something that will match your skin tone. And that's what I use. And that's actually a good trick that I learned from one of the makeup artists. So I've been doing that. I've been, this is like close to my complexion, a little close to my complexion. And I use that so it won't look like I'm white right here. It is all white. And I hate how some people like look all white up here and it just look ghostly. And I just don't like that. So when you do any type of concealer for your eyebrows get something that match your skin tone so you won't look like white over here okay so that's a good fact so once i put the concealer on which i like to do is kind of pat around really i go around like first i go up top then i go at the bottom and put some concealer at the bottom and that's when I start like lining up. So you always want, I go back, but you always want that clean cut shape with your eyebrows. And you could just do it however way, but what, I'll show you a way that's like a little easier. First, I use this, the brush and I do it upwards and I will brush it like this towards the eyebrow. Maybe you can see. And I'll go front to back. Do front to back and also I'll go back into the same motion and I'll do it so it could be like that clean cut maybe you can see then I will go to the bottom using this blush brush this brush is that's why it's like this I don't know rectangular shape because you could you don't have to get like a full flat brush it's not going to be the same some people do use the flat brush but I think this brush is made for eyebrows because how it's shaped because it's actually um better to kind of make it a clean cut and so after that I use a brush on this side on this way I really can't explain uh, what this <laughs> brush shape like but also I will come back to the to the bottom and I also I'll just like brush it and like have it like shaped to how I want my eyebrows to look there you can see and it's like literally that easy 
some people kind of make it harder than what it is but you just definitely just highlighting your eyebrows basically you just outlining it and that's literally I did it perfect the first time and that's literally how it that's it to be honest with you and a lot of people ask me what I use and how I use it it's totally like simple now sometimes what I do like I'm, I'm very a perfectionist when it comes to my eyebrows so I see like I got concealer at the bottom I just usually just um go back with my Anastasia and kind of fix that and you see how it just fixed it and like I say I'm perfectionist again I go back with the little concealer that's still on the brush and I'll shape it back up to the spot Okay, so a, a lot of people ask how you do the shadow effect. So, the spoiling. Anastasia I already got you. That's why I say I recommend. Y'all get the Anastasia because it's the brown, the eyebrow tutorial queen. Like, she already knows what we do to make our eyebrows on fleek. It is $22, $22 I spent, but it's well worth spending. It, it really is. So, I go back with my spoolie. And I will use it to the front and I will brush forward. You see, I brush forward and that's how you get that eyeshadow effect when you brush forward. And if you don't want it to look like a unibrow with the other eyebrow, and that's when you just you do go upward with it. And you can still see that eyebrow effect. So once I do that, that's when I go and finish and I will use the Anastasia gel, the clear brow gel to hold it in place, basically hold it in place and make it look a little fuller. Some people use color. Um, I'll be honest with you. They didn't have the color that I needed. So, so I probably would use it, but I feel like you really don't need to use it. And look, I don't look like I need, look how pointy this area is. And I didn't have my eyebrows done. So I'm telling y'all, once y'all get this perfectionist on how you do your eyebrows, like, you don't need your eyebrows waxed, to be honest with you. Maybe you need a little, like I said earlier, like, you probably need a little razor and kind of get a few hairs or two. But after this, girl, you're going to save your money. And you don't need your eyebrows, just your nails and your tools done. So what I do with this, I just actually lather it and I put it in an upward position. And I'll do too much because it is kind of wet and I'll just lightly touch so it could look full and also if you if you're a perfectionist like me I'm a definitely a perfectionist you don't have to do what I do but also I still have a lot of concealer I'll go to my end after I do after I do my gel brow and just really sharpen that tail. And you can see a little bit of white, but you really can't see that much that I did the concealer. Like once I put foundation on, of course, you know, you could you won't see, but it's not as bright and white. So, with the LA Pro Girl, that's why I use it. Because it's actually kind of matching with my skin. And it's not too much of the to concealer that you see. You can actually see the brow more than the concealer. That's why I use it with my skin tone. But, this is my brow. Different from <laughs> the other one. I'm going to do the other one shortly. But, yeah, that's it. That's basically it. And so I'm going to do my other brow and I'm going to show you the difference and I'm going to show you like how the middle, how you could easily come to the middle to make a unibrow. So I'm going to show you how to not do that. Okay. Okay, y'all. So when you do the other brow, I always remember it's sometimes they're not going to look like twins. But you could definitely look. And what I do is 
I just keep on going over with the brush to look like it's twins. So that's why it's good to have like a mirror, a close mirror when you do it. And you can see this gap right here. I'm going to just fill it in. I'm going to fill it in and go back up. So, and come in, go up like this. Sometimes your brows not gonna look like twins, but it's not gonna be horrible either. Cause I'm like I said, I'm a perfectionist, y'all. So I probably think my eyebrows look good, but it doesn't. Like this one is a little bit higher than the other one. And I don't know why always the right brow I'm a perfectionist with, and I do the left brow so well. I don't know why is that. And I probably do too much to the right brow that it'd be like, oh, it's already perfect. They don't be. So yeah, that's what. And usually when I do, like maybe one day I'll do like this brow perfectly, then I go to this brow and be like messed up. <laughs> Like sometimes it be like that. It just depends. So I'm just coming cut back here. Okay, and there you go. So that is your eyebrow tutorial. Simple, easy, don't cost that much. <laughs> uh basically you could do it with any type of eyebrow if you wanna if you really, you know, on a budget, you could go to the hair store and get it and you could get the actually the LA Pro Girl. It's always at the hair store. It's always at the your local hair store. You know, is this. And as long as you have like a pen, a pencil, and this. And you could get, and actually I bought the brush from the hair store as well. You get your brush and you could do your eyebrows if nobody will know. You don't have to get Anastasia, but that's what I use because I feel like hers is effective and is better to me with the product. But yeah. If you could see, both of these are twins, and that's how you get into a perfect brow. If you want more videos, like my foundation, like another eyeshadow video, I need you to subscribe. I have more to show y'all, like I always say, and I do deliver. Um, this has been a great journey with y'all. Thank y'all for whoever subscribed. Thank y'all so much. Because at first I was low. But now I'm getting a little bit higher. Uh, don't forget to shout, uh, follow me on social media. At pre underscore nay. And that will be at the bottom of the video. And also what I use today. Also going to be at the bottom of the video. And I'm actually going to do prices. So y'all will know. Uh, I don't know too much prices about the eyebrow. The eyebrow like you know this but but i do know the price of my gel my concealer and my brow pen so that would be at the bottom y'all thank y'all for watching and tuning in i will see more y'all y'all have a good one thank you bye